This is a very pretty early March morning and we're going to do some uh, pruning on our grafts. This particular one was a, is a one year graft that was done a year ago. Uh, the four flap right here where I'm pointing. If you'll notice right here is our graft. That one right there. This and this and this and this are all coming off of our graft. These others are just native stock. So they'll definitely all, all that native stuff will come off in a period of two or three years. But for now, after year one, we just kind of prune it back. Um, first thing we'll do, just to kind of get a little, little room to maneuver, is I'm going to take off some stuff. Okay, this is native, this is native, so we're going to cut it back some. This chute here, you see, it's coming out below our graft. So we do not want that there either. So we're going to take that one off right there. All right, now we're looking at our graft. And what we're going to do here is take off our, our brace stick that we put on. Uh, we showed that in our grafting demonstrations. That brace stick is only good for a year. Uh, that's when it's really critical. So, plus it's, it's, it's dead wood and it, it'd have to be rotted anyway. So we're going to cut off that brace stick and get it out. Now we're down to the tape that we put on. We did our graft, and I see my little pigtail, I call it. So we'll just unwrap it, just like the way we put it on. And voila, there's our graft. This is going to be our tree, right here. This long one right here. I'm going to bring this, these two here back. We will probably, in time, we will probably even take these off and make this our tree, but we'll see. I'll definitely take this one off. We've got two limbs coming out of one bud. You do not want that. So we're going to take it off right at the base. Now. Here's one of the hardest things to do when you start learning to graft. You see this nice long shoot and you think, oh man, that's really doing well. And it is. But it is so susceptible to the wind damage. That thing grew over two foot last year. If we do not cut that back, that thing will grow three foot next year as I'm standing here. So you're talking about five feet on a little tree. You just got to bite the bullet, come back, and cut it back. We've got a good bud right there, a good bud here, and that'll throw out a new shoot, take right off. I think I'm going to bring this back a little bit shorter too, now that I look at it. That looks good. You can see our four flaps and how that's swelled up in new growth. That's a real good, that's a real good graft right there. You'd be real happy with that. If you eliminate these limbs right now, that thing's not gonna grow three foot, it's gonna grow four foot. 
and because all that energy is going to go to that. So we'll leave some here, let it sprout out just like we did the first year. Let it sprout out and it'll make energy, make leaves look nice. And, uh, and it, it does protect your tree trunk from sunburn. You can, you can get a sunburn on them sometimes when you take all that off one side. Kind of rare, but it can happen. This will be a, uh, at least a four year pruning session. Uh, next year we'll come back, we'll eliminate this limb and cut this one back, cut these two back. Next year we'll come, come and we'll eliminate this one and prune these back. So in, in five years, four, four, it being a small tree, in four years, this tree will be done. Yeah, and it'll be back to a, a natural looking, you know, a natural looking tree. So anyway, that's that's uh, that's what you're striving for right there. After one year, we've got a one-year inlay as opposed to the four flat. Uh, inlays are done on trees about an inch, inch and a half to two inches in diameter. Uh, right here's our wood lath that protected our graft. Uh, this and this are both come off our graft. Uh, either one of them would, would make for the, a good tree trunk, but we don't need two coming out down here uh, this low. Now first thing I'll do is we'll get this, uh, uh, call it a cattle guard. Uh, I put a little piece of hedge, thorny hedge, up alongside, keep the cow's noses out of there. They'll tear them up every time. Very difficult to, to do this kind of thing with cattle. Very difficult. The reason this tree's here at all is because of these briars. That thing just sprouted up on its own out here in this briar patch and the cows couldn't get to it and uh, it made a nice little tree and uh, now we got it grafted one year. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prune back these little, these little saplings. Give us a little elbow room. See, that's native. Here's our graft right here. So we're going to take it back. And this, you see, this is native. We'll take it back. We'll leave these for another year or two, as we've discussed. Uh, we'll leave our wood lath on there. It's on pretty secure. Uh, we'll leave it another year. That is, that is really a good one-year graft for an inlay. The way that's healing around. I'm going to take this orange off because that signifies trees to graft as opposed to already being grafted. And if you've got a lot of trees, which we do have quite a few, Go some geese. Uh, I mark them with the blue just so I can identify them at a distance. And this tells me it's already grafted. And then anything's got an orange flagging on it, like this, I know that's trees to graft in the spring. Okay, now, here we're going to prune this thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this our tree. 
which means we're going to cut this one back, clear back to there. And in a year or two, we'll completely take that off. This limb will dominate as we cut this one back. We've got some little sprouts coming out here. Um, but we, we <clears throat> like I've mentioned before, you've, you've got to You've got to prune them back that first year. Uh, you're making a mistake if you don't. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off there, and that off there, and I'm going to take that off right there. Hard to do when you're getting into the business, but boy, when you come out after a windy day and you see that nice craft laying on the ground then you you know you got to prune them you just got to do it all right here's a here's a very successful graft peeled around real nice at the base this was what we call an inlay first thing i'm going to do is get this wood lath off that supported it for a while obviously it's uh, it doesn't come into play anymore it, it was just barely on there. So we'll take that off. That's as good as you're going to get for a three-year-old uh, tree, three-year-old graph. You see how that's it's just almost completely healed around now. Now we pruned it once right here. There's a little stick. That was the first pruning. Then it took off and it grew three foot. And then the next year, it grew three foot. So that thing's growing as fast as, almost too fast, really. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take off these lower limbs, and we'll be done with them. No more native. From here down is native. From here up is our graft. We'll take that off. That's almost chainsaw work right there. We could go ahead and prune this back a little bit. These two, these three. But there comes a point where you just got to let it go. You know, you prune them for a year or two or three or four. And you can't just keep a, a going. So... Uh, I like the looks of the wet, the way it's branched out. So I'm going to call this tree good. There's one thing I'm going to take off. I keep it catching my eye. Is that there was a, two limbs coming out of one bud there? I know like that. So I take it off. So uh, there's your finished product. Now that thing will have some pecans on it this year on these lower, smaller limbs. Those taller, bigger sprouts, they'll just keep it growing next year, but these lower limbs, they'll, they'll throw out some bloom and you'll see what kind of pecan you got. That's always fun to see it for the first time. So, let's move on and look at some other trees. This is a, this is a pretty rough looking example, but that's the kind you need to to look at to see what the heck to do with it. Uh, we put a four flap right here probably four four years ago. Uh, now we're going to be looking at chainsaw work here. Uh, I've got a little electric saw that's really uh, really a handy tool. Well, that looks better. That's not a very, very good shape. And it's a little awkward looking, but it's going. 
This is native, because here's our graft. This is native. This little limb here, probably native, but uh, I'm not going to take any more off because we've taken a lot off right now. Next year I'll come back and I'll knock these off. And we'll call it. We'll call it good. Now this is a four flat done up high, like I say, up out of the cow's reach for the most part. Uh, got good branching. I like that. It's uh, one, two, three, four year old graft. Uh, the only thing left is these side sticks and they're kind of dying off on their own anyway. But just to dress it up, we'll uh, go ahead and take it off. Some of them are dead, off, as you can see. Don't even require pruning. They had to shed, shed themselves off uh, in time. There's a couple green ones there. We'll put that off. That is the final pruning of that tree. All right, we're looking at a probably a six-year-old inlay graft. Uh, this tree is basically done. Uh, you, if you scan up and look at it, it's just branched out so nice. It's really a good example. Uh, the only, only drawback I'd say at all is this limb here might be a little bit of a hazard. I don't care too much for that joint. But there again, like I've said before, there comes a point where you just, uh, uh, got to call it good and, and walk away from it. But all in all, that's a very good example of, of what you want after five or six years. All right, here's a little tree I just now pruned up. It was grafted right there. Uh, that's that tree's finished. Uh, this tree is as good as finished because it's going to have to go to the wayside. Uh, these two trees happen to grow close together. And wide open all around. One of the two needed to be grafted. I picked the smaller one. So I have pruned this back some in the last year or two, as you can see, to give this in a little, little more sunlight. But this coming winter, uh, I'll take this tree out. <laughs>